Hello everyone, in this video let's have a look at the Pixel Experience Plus ROM for the LG V30. As you can see here it is based out of Android version 12 and it also has the latest standard security patch level as of now. And here is the Pixel Launcher that it comes with. And these are the wallpaper and style options as you can see here. You can change up certain stuff, change the basic colors of the ROM as you can see. And enable or disable dark theme from here, enable themed icons and also change the app grid. And as you can see here, the icons have changed and also the grid size has changed. And here are the home settings. As you can see here, you have the usual features like notification dots at a glance, add new apps to the home screen, swipe to access Google app on the left panel, overview suggestions, suggestions in general. So you can enable suggestions on the bottom bar of the home screen and also on the top of the launcher. But I disable that for the home screen. And you can allow home screen rotation and these are the things that you can search from within your launcher and you can also disable some of these if you want and here are the quick setting tiles as you can see here and these are the options you can turn off camera or mic access quickly with just one tap and here is the half attack and these options are currently grayed out but when you plug in the earphones they will be available to use and that's all from the quick settings icons and let's now jump in here is how the power menu looks and here is how the volume panel looks as you can see and you also have the option for enabling live transaction transcriptions here so these live caption options as you can see here you can enable that and they work pretty well let's go into the settings this is the pixel experience plus room so it has a few additional features first of all it has also has face unlock which is awesome i use that regularly and here are the gestures you can quickly open the camera as you can see here pressing the power button twice you have gesture navigation options you can basically have long swipe actions these are the options here you can hide the gesture indicator and you can also swipe to invoke the assistant from the bottom corners you can change the customization level of the sensitivity and also change the height so i like this particular option a lot because it prevents accidental triggering of the back gesture and you can have two button navigation and also customize that as you can see you can invert the layout or make it compact and you also have three button navigation option and similar feature for these as well let's go back and here you have one handed mode which you can use and you just swipe like this and here is the one handed mode that you get to use you can also enable a shortcut for that if you use it often but i find it easier just to use the gesture and you can press and hold the power key for advanced restart you can enable certain menu shortcuts if you want enable advanced restart hold for assistant as well is available but i don't really use that and you can swipe to screenshot with three fingers and let's go back and you have button options uh, these are the similar options that we saw earlier so i'll skip the above two and you can press and hold the power button you can end call long press for torch when the screen is off you can wake device with the volume keys answer calls disable and you can also use keyboard cursor control using the volume keys as you can see here and you can control the playback using your volume cues when the screen is off you can reorient them as well and also take partial screenshots when you short press those two buttons you have certain status bar options like enabling the network traffic pointer you can auto hide it and change the measurement if you want you can change the clock position as you can see you can double tap to sleep hide or show certain status bar icons you can also show seconds here hide am pm style use a circle battery icon and place the battery percentage inside or hide it as well you can have brightness control quick pull down from the right side and let's go back so those are pretty much all the features that were present here now let us go back as well and under the display section you'll find certain other features hidden away so let's quickly have a look at them here is lock scene options you have you can allow or disallow the face unlock option you can display media cover art and this is basically the aod always on display always show time and info so that option is hidden away here 
and you can change up other stuff like display size font size dark theme and you also have the option for night light and you can also schedule when it will turn on and you also have the option for live display wherein you can find a reading mode as well and you can calibrate the on-screen colors you have double tap to wake double tap to sleep you have screensaver for clock and those are pretty much all the features that were present in this room overall this is a really good room the battery life is pretty solid and performance is pretty smooth as well uh, only one issue that i found was that apps would frequently close if i have too many apps open so memory management is something that this room struggles with but other than that it is pretty solid room it has a lot of google apps pre-installed and it tries to give you a close to pixel experience pun intended and overall if you are looking for a pixel experience room with a few additional features this is a good suggestion but only thing i'm worried about is uh, that memory management issue and i also tried pubg on it and i'm able to get about 55 fps on average on smooth plus extreme settings so in that way the performance is good as well so that's it for this video if you liked it click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for most videos 